We know about the advantages of gallium nitride FETs in terms of low switching losses and low conduction losses. Can you explain what it is that makes it different, how you get an enhancement mode gallium nitride FET, and where you're going with this? Thanks, Don. Yeah, gallium nitride has been around for many, many years, uh, but only in the last uh, 10 or so years have people figured out how to grow it on a standard piece of silicon like I'm showing you here. Because of that, we can make it cheaply. But that doesn't mean the problems of, of using gallium nitride go away. In fact, in silicon, when you want to make a device with certain electrical properties, you put impurities into the silicon that sit there in the crystal and they give it its electrical characteristics. In gallium nitride, it's imperfections in the crystal that give it its electrical characteristic. And an imperfection in a crystal is very hard to measure. So it's another level of challenge uh, for the material scientist and the process engineer and device designer to manage these impurities, uh, not impurities, the, manage these crystal imperfections. So these to are create actual, actual wrinkles in the, in the lattice. Exactly. Wrinkles in the lattice dominate the electrical characteristics. And EPC is, has harnessed that in, uh, to produce devices that compete with power MOSFETs. And ours are enhancement mode. They operate just like a power MOSFET, but with about 10 times better performance. All right, these are our devices. Uh, you can see our, our, our tiny little 200 volt device there, and there's a larger 200 volt device. These are 40 and 100 volt devices. They're about uh, six to 10 times smaller than the silicon devices that would have the same uh, on resistance, and they're much, much faster switching speed. Uh, this is our uh, package for our new 600 volt device that we're just now starting to beta test. Uh, and again, that's uh, maybe one-fifth the size of the smallest package you can get an equal 600 volt device in. We're showing a six inch wafer that uh, actually has uh, more than 10,000 of uh, these little gallium nitride transistors on them. Uh, you can see that they're very, very small. They have uh, solder bars on top for flip chip mounting. All of our devices are flip chip mounted because they don't need a package because the gallium nitride is self passivating. Uh, so you don't need a plastic encapsulant to protect it from the environment. This is a 48 volt in, 12 volt out, isolated 8th brick power supply that EPC has built using our EGAN FETs. You can see the uh, four FETs right here for the uh, primary side and then the uh, four FETs out here for the secondary side. And uh, this uh, power supply is more efficient than any uh, 12 to uh, 48 to 12 volt power supply you could buy out there today. It uses, uh, it runs at uh, up to 500 kilohertz uh, frequency, and uh, you can buy it as an EPC 9102 on our website. We talked about the um, electron gas. Electron gas. I couldn't even think that that is so radical a concept compared to just having impurities in the in the lattice. It's really quite extraordinary. It's only recently been even theorized and now we're making devices that are operating under this principle. You actually create a, an electron gas right under the surface that's quantum mechanically confined to the surface. So it actually has two dimensional properties. What that means is these electrons can run very, very rapidly across the surface of the device but they don't go into the device. So you have this sea of electrons, highly mobile, and they give it very, very low on resistance. But the problem is, in silicon, when you, uh, when you start, you don't have electrons, and with a gate control, you, you bring electrons to the surface. In our device, you have to actually take the electrons away to turn it off. And that's why enhancement mode is a very difficult thing to get. Actually, you're taking away that's depletion mode, so how do you get to enhancement mode? Well, you have to start with a material that actually takes them away only when you want it. And so we've developed a material that we grow on top of our uh, active devices that actually takes away the electrons until you put them back with a positive uh, 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 voltage on the gate. And that's how we do it. All right, well, EPC has uh, just this week introduced a new book, Gallium Nitride Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion. Uh, and we talk about the technology, uh, the various topologies of power conversion, and how gallium nitride will improve your efficiency. We also talk about reliability and the business end. When is gallium nitride going to replace silicon in power conversion systems? And, and I think that's the next few years. So how do you get a copy? 
You can get it off of Amazon.com, you can get it from our website, or you can get it through DigiKey. All are available immediately.